Hello, Jess Too Good here, and continuing the solo talk, I'm joined with I Hate Everything. Hello there. And we're going to be discussing if the Lego sets were accurate to the movie and some of the summer 2018 uh, Lego Star Wars sets. Might as well. This isn't even a Just Do podcast episode. But uh, <laughs> what Lego Star Wars uh, solo sets do you own right now? Um, you know, I only got one. I only got the one, the TIE Fighter. Really? Um, because I was I was oh. scared that I wouldn't like the film or the film would disappoint me. So I didn't want to invest mm-hmm. in a bunch of them and then just have these sets I have no connection to, you know. Yeah, that's what happened with me and Rogue One. I brought like I bought all the Rogue One sets, and I was like, oh, man, I, I didn't really connect this movie too much. So yeah, I ended up not. Well, even at least with Rogue One, it was just kind of ships from A New Hope, mm-hmm. anyway. So you were kind of which safe, is funny. But... I think those are the ones I built, and then the ones I didn't build was like the U wing and like Krennic shuttle. Yeah, like, yeah, that's fair. Those were the more expensive ones, unfortunately. <laughs> but <laughs> so did you? Get yeah, any I remember for the solo. Oh, ones, for or? the solo, uh, yeah, I got. Um, I do have the TIE Fighter. That's the one I haven't built yet because I'm thinking I'm going to build it at my other location. I'm, I'm like, in another location right now, so I'm waiting for that. And oh, then right. I have yeah, yeah. Uh, Moloch Speeder, uh, the Han Solo Speeder, and the Battle Pack. So you got so most have, of them then? You're just yeah, missing I got the most Falcon. of them. I think, yeah, exactly. That's the one I'm missing, the Falcon. Uh, but did you get any other new Lego sets recently? Um, I got the UCS Y-Wing. And mm. the Yoda training thing with Luke. Um, oh yeah, that one. That one. I don't know if it's it's overpriced for your place, but oh, uh, yeah, over here, uh, all, it's so all Lego in in UK is completely ridiculously overpriced. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Yeah, it's 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 like this one is is a, even for the US. This one is especially overpriced. I like it a lot. I mean, I'm glad they did a Yoda hut, but you know. Yeah, same. Yeah, <laughs> but um, I was surprised. I mean, the the ships in the movie were pretty accurate. Would you say so? extremely accurate yeah i guess the only yeah. thing you could point at is the millennium falcon i don't know if that set has the ability to take out the middle section you know the... i think it does oh I does it does can. it well in yeah that it, case... that's actually i was amazed they actually did that i was like okay that makes sense when you take it out does it look like the normal millennium falcon yeah it does all right that's cool then so yeah very accurate then <laughs> to a t exactly almost. they didn't put l3 in there either i thought that was weird i, I think that's going to be one of those sets that mm-hmm. are coming out there was what yeah. three more sets so there's yeah there's there's the the heavy haul transport you know that one the one ship from oh the yeah beginning. yeah yeah i guess minor spoilers in this video but uh yeah that that ship's getting one the train sort of thing is getting one yeah. and um the speeder bikes of efri's nest All which right. i want to get those minifigures i guess none of those will come with l3 mm-hmm. then so oh that is weird yeah, i don't that's... know what they'll do yeah and if they do what they did with Rogue One, you know, in January, they, they might not even have any more Rogue One sets. Like, you know how they stopped doing Rogue One sets after yeah. two waves? Yeah. They might not have any solo sets after. I don't know. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. There's going to be a big gap, though, isn't there, after that is Solo true. got a long time. So they might sneak one in there. That's true. You, you have a point there. Um, they have that new Star Wars TV show on Disney, which I feel like oh, they yeah. might do sets on. It's possible. Yeah. Did you watch Rebels, by the way? No. Never got around to it. Something about the art style just can't jump into that one. <laughs> Did you like Clone Wars? Again, I've only seen just a handful of episodes. I'm really mm-hmm, not very yeah. educated on that one. I totally don't blame you. I'm kind of the same. Um, and have you seen the two promotional minifigures for Solo? Um, the, what, Han Solo Mud Trooper in the Kessel mm-hmm. Mine Worker. Yeah. I didn't notice Kessel Mine Worker in that, but again, it was a big scene. Um, yeah, but uh, the mud trooper was one he was uh, with Chewy the first time, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a pretty cool looking minifigure. I have no idea how you get it though. Mm-hmm. I I I almost got on eBay today, but it was like forty bucks or something. Forty. I, like, I best offered it pretty low, but yeah, he didn't wow. accept it. Yeah, uh, I like the hair piece on that. Yeah, I was uh, about to comment trooper. on that. Yeah, it does. Yeah, look that's good. the best part because it's a new coloring for that uh, hair piece, but. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think. I was amazed they got, like, the Moloch Speeder and, and Han Solo's Land Speeder, like, the sizes, right? Because I remember I in the beginning, Moloch Speeder was so... It was a really, like, chunky vehicle. And I was like, oh, they actually did pretty good. Yeah. yeah. So, if you were to get any, any more of these Solo sets, which ones would you get? Um, Maybe the Battle Pack for the figures or potentially the Falcon, but it's just so expensive. And I've already got, like, three or four of these falcon mm-hmm. so i just got nowhere yeah. to put them anymore and i don't know i totally don't blame you <laughs> it, it, it's just not even it's not it's just not that it just looks similar but the build is really similar too it's the same style and everything mm-hmm. so i just yeah. can't, I can't yeah, justify it, especially right. with what's coming in the summer 
Exactly. And speaking of the summer, what's the sets you like? Which are the sets you don't like? Um, I'll start with the one I don't like, and that's that's the sand crawler. I really don't like the that set. It, it looks, oh. it just looks wrong to me. It looks kind of squidged. It looks like you've taken the U UCS one <laughs> and taken hands to each side and just shoved them together so it's kind of smaller. <laughs> Um, and the minifigure selection is way worse than the UCS one. Because uh, I have the oh, UCS yeah, one, and that's a really great model. Um, I see. So, so it might just be in comparison with that one. Um, mm -hmm. even you know, the wheels when, a, when a UCS set comes out and you get it, like, are you inclined to get, like, the smaller versions when they release another regular one? Or, like, how does that work? It, it, it depends, I guess, on what kind of minifigures mm -hmm. come with it. Because there's the new X-Wing that's coming out, too, mm -hmm. um, which I'll probably be getting because they haven't made one of those for years. And they've made some yeah. nice adjustments to it. Like, it doesn't have the gear on the back for the wings. Now it's like a switch thing in the back platform yeah. thing. And the engines look a lot better. So things like that, and with some new figures and the new helmet molds. The helmet molds, those are kind of cool. I like them. Yeah, so that's They're like really enough good. for me to justify that. But mm -hmm. sometimes I'm discouraged if it's like this sand crawler. I'll definitely not be getting. I just, I I, especially with it, in comparison to the UCS one, it's just got nothing yeah. on it. I was surprised by the the um, landing craft. I was not expecting oh, them yeah, to make yeah, another yeah, one of those. Yeah, that one. Um, I used to have the original one of those when when that oh, came that out. Oh, that was from like 2007. Yeah, yeah, think, years right? ago. I think this is a, a better version ago. of it. But again, it does have definitely somewhat random minifigures. Like I don't know why R2 comes with it, but <laughs> I yeah, they threw an R2 in like I think three of these summer wave sets. It's like okay, yeah. we get it. Maybe they just Let's... printed too many of them. <laughs> They're just like oh, just <laughs> chuck them into anything. Um, yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> what else is there of note from this this summer um, wave? Th there's that Hoth set the half medical oh yeah yeah set. that's a nice little one i'll, I'll definitely be mm -hmm. getting that one um because yeah. it was just i got the ucs hoth base and that, oh that really ho that whole section is um because it was on sale on on the lego shops because i couldn't mm -hmm. justify the full price for that set because i didn't really like it that much that set. yeah I, I i'm really not that much of a fan of it but i thought the minifig selection was pretty good mm -hmm. um so I, I i got it in the end uh, but but I the see. the luke in the back to pod thing was was missing from that set so this will exactly go with it well and leia and leia yeah it does yeah, annoy me a little so bit that that leia is so similar to what was supposed to be unique to the ucs falcon <laughs> but whatever yeah i think the falcon has the one with the only thing different is the mask printing yeah, yeah. like it has a different face print different yeah face print. That's yeah about it. um there's also the the, the small little um anakin uh, starfighter yeah, I think that's for the prequel slash Clone Wars fans more, and I'm, I'm not too yeah, hot on those ones. Yeah, that doesn't interest me. Yeah. yeah. What about um, the throne room? That's what I was going to say, Snoke's throne room. What a set. Uh, I don't like it. I think it's overpriced, and I think that they're missing, like, the red curtains. Yeah. What do you think? I I'm with you on it. Um, mm -hmm. It just doesn't do it for me. I, I much prefer the equivalent one they did for Return of the Jedi. Um, a few years ago that was yeah that was that was a better price it was a bigger design it just feels like with these really desirable sets they're like okay we could bump it up like yeah. i felt this way with uh the luke act two island training where it just mm -hmm. felt overpriced for what it was Because they know they can they're gonna get people just who want luke exactly yeah it's cheeky that's cheeky yeah so i'm not even gonna buy this at full price i'm gonna wait till it's like on sale yeah i probably um, won't get it either no. and I'll say uh, that the Praetorian Guards, uh, those are such cool minifigures, but I feel they'll reprint them next year, so. Yeah. You know. For sure. Um, oh, they also did some new, I don't know, do you like Brickheads or what? Because, like, they, they revealed some new ones. Um, I feel year. like I'm too late on the Brickheads thing, because I'd have to just get so many to be up to date on the full collection now, because I'm so particular yeah. about having the full collection. Yeah, true, true, true. And uh, finally, just just a throw-in question: uh, Did you uh, did you see the Harry Potter sets, and are you interested in those? I did see them. They're they're a significant upgrade to the ones I remember. Um, yeah. Where they still had the yellow heads and all. Um, oh man, they're very good sets, but um, I, I don't think I'll, I'll I'll pick them up. I was always more of a kind of Lord of the Rings fan over a Harry Potter fan, but mm -hmm. I, I, was, I can see why people are excited though. They do look good. Yeah, I see. Well, hey, I think that's it for this little. Uh, I don't know, additional video. And uh, thanks for joining me, I Hate Everything. Thank you. Always up to and, talk about Lego. 
Of course, of course. I'll probably bring you in once they reveal the January 2019 <laughs> sets or whatever. But uh, yeah, go check them out on YouTube, and I will see you guys later. Peace out. Bye-bye. Bye.